Welcome to the channel. Got a couple of things going on with the wife's GMC Acadia tonight. Working on replacing the air filter. Pretty simple job. Got lucky there. No, no signs of mice up in the air box. And then once that's buttoned up, I'm going to be replacing the plug on the coolant temp sensor. So I'm going to finish buttoning up this air filter and then we're going to start working on the temp sensor. got the air filter button back up and before I dive into actually wiring this new plug in I wanted to give a little overview on um, what the deal is with the GMC Acadia Chevy Traverse this 3.6 engine uh, temp sensor um, basically what the deal was was my wife was driving it and she called me up saying her car was blowing up and I said, what's going on? She said, the um, temperature gauge is reading zero. So it was bottomed out. It was reading 160 or whatever the whatever the base level is on these. Um, wasn't reading at all, basically. And the fans were blowing through the roof. Um, so I did a little research, and um, the culprit seemed to be either either low coolant, which I chucked coolant. We're good, we're good on coolant. Or uh, the temp sensor was bad. So... It's a $15 part, so I just ordered it, uh, got it off Amazon Prime. Um, I can post the post the part number in the video description. Um, but basically, it's just this little guy here. This is the old one. I did this job about a week ago. Um, so it's basically just a, to replace it, here's the location of it. It's, um, it's this... Woo, someone outside is driving. It's um, really hard to get my hand in here and, sh and show you, but it's basically this, um, it's off this harness here, and it's inside this foil kind of insulator. So if you look, you can see the big the big insulator with the harness coming out of it. Um, so to replace this, I'm not, I'm not even going to replace it since I already did it a week ago, and that was before before I decided to start this channel. So what you would do to replace it is you would pull up the, the foil and disconnect the plug and then slide a, a 19 millimeter so deep wall socket over the top of it with an extension. You can zip it right out of there. Um, and you wanna make sure when you're doing that that you get the little washer that's on it out with it. You'll see here it's got the, it's got the little washer on it. Just make sure you get that out with it and then it'll come right out. The problem with these is that the plug isn't, it's got a lock on it. So you have, to not, you have to get the lock out and then pull the plug off. And um, the guy, the video I watched, the guy, the guy broke his plug. And then sure enough, when I was doing it, I broke my plug. Um, so that'll be the job today is um, I just got it pushed on there for now um, so she could drive it. Um, but I'm going to actually replace it so it locks on there. And then today's job is going to be wiring the new plug in there. So you can see that this actually locks in just like that. And then you'll see, oh, this, this new plug is actually, it's actually nicer. It doesn't have the, uh, the lock on it. So you just pop it right off. That's pretty nice. So I'm gonna get to work um, pulling this apart and getting access to it. And then uh, kind of go from there in terms of actually wiring this bad boy up. All right, so you can see here, this is the old plug. You can see where the, the, lock, the latch on it broke off. Um, and you can see this is the little the little insulator cover. Um, this is a pretty short harness, just a little, just coming off of the, uh, 
the main harness here. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to, and um, this uh, insulation get, just gets in the way. Um, so it's the your best bet is to um, once you unplug it, pull this up as as much as you can. If you replace this plug, um, when you're removing the plug, you want to pull it up as best as you can too, just to get access to this plug. It's really um, the the insulation is almost the length of the um, almost the length of the harness, so it's a real pain in the butt to access. Um, so what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to cut the old plug off. And the new plug, um, both wires are white, um, so obviously they're not coated to uh, the old plug, which has a yellow and a brown wire. But um, just lining it up, I'm going to go off that. So we, we got this the U-shaped um, slot that the the old the the plug slides into. I'm just going to base it off that on the new plug. So um, so I'll just line it up so that so that we got this this U-shaped. Um, slot on, on the new plug um, so I'll just line the wi wires up that way um, and once I fire up the ends we'll know real quick whether that's wired in the right way or not. Um, this kit actually comes with um, a couple butt connectors so I'm just going to do it that way. I'm just going to cut the plug. Um, I might lengthen it just a little bit. It's in the ring of fire down there under the exhaust manifold or actually I guess it would be above the exhaust manifold um, so I don't want to lengthen it too much create a create an issue. Um, in terms of like heat and um, you know burning it up or anything like that but um, just a little bit longer just in case you know I ever have to replace this again that way um, just a little bit more workable so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on um, getting these spliced together and then hopefully that'll do it all right so I had to shut the time lapse off because the phone was falling everywhere as this is really isn't a, a very particularly easy spot to film um, but I was able to cut the old plug off, um, pulled this, pulled the little insulation off, and then um, I pulled back the loom. I uh, stripped these wires, uh, got them, everything hooked up with the um, butt connectors. Uh, don't forget to put your insulation back on. Um, and then I'm actually going to. Um, before I, before I throw the loom back on it and um, electrical tape all this up, um, I'm going to plug it in and run it and make sure that um, it's actually working properly um, before I go um, making this a little more permanent. It'll be a lot more work if uh, I put all this back together and it doesn't, doesn't actually work. Um, I was going to put a uh, heat wrap on these, but um, I'm dealing with such short wires already and such a crappy kind of set of circumstances here that um it was just fighting me all the way so i'm just going to throw some electrical tape on here um and call that good so i'm going to go ahead and plug this back in um fire it up see what it does and then um if everything's good then i'm going to make it a little bit more permanent all right here's the finished product um i might um you in the previous segment you'll notice that um, I actually installed the the insulation upside down, so pulled that off, and that actually gave me really good access to the uh, butt connectors. Throw some tape around them, um, threw a new piece of loom over it all, taped it up real good, um, slid the insulation back on. Now it's ready to um, pop back onto the sensor, and this job will be good to go. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Um, there'll be a lot more interesting content coming than just some crappy old uh, GMC SUV. So stay tuned for that.